So a question that comes up when you're building a bike, or getting a new bike, is what is the right offset for your bike on your fork? 44 mil, 42 mil, 51 mil, obviously it depends on your wheel size, 29 inch, 27.5, uh, and the geometry of the bike as well. So recently on my hardtail, I had a 51 mil offset since I built it, rode it for a season and a half, I also got very, very used to the shorter offset of my full suspension bike and decided to try out a different fork to see if it complemented or hurt the feeling of the hardtail. So here she is. This is the 44 mil offset RockShox Sid. This is the new one with the 35 mil stanchions. And you can see here, right at the crown, this is kind of where I look at it. So a 51 mil offset comes out a little bit further and the shorter 44 off, uh, 44 mil offset, you can see it's kind of a little bit more tucked in. Technically, the measurement is at the axle. It's not at the crown. So it's just easier to see at the top there. So the 51 mil offset has been in our lives on 29 inch bikes since the mid 2000s. Gary Fisher called it G2 geometry, and the idea was that it sped up your steering a little bit to compensate for the bigger wheels and the awkward geometry. I find it very interesting that we are now having longer bikes with slacker head angles that are harder to maneuver, and now we're actually going back to a shorter offset, which actually makes them more stable, but does make it harder to turn in the corners. So trail, is the technical measurement we're talking about. And the pros closet does have a really good explanation of what trail is. I'm not gonna get too much into it, but I will include a link to that pros closet article that you can take a look uh, to see the more information about the trail measurement on your bike. So like I said, I've, I ran the 51 mil offset for a season and a half. I got very, very used to it. And I really did like a few characteristics of it. It did make the bike feel very playful. It also made it very easy to change the lines. If I was in a technical rock garden and I wanted to adjust my position, I just tugged on the handlebars and it adjusted it pretty quickly. What I didn't like about it was that I felt like I was losing traction in the corners. Uh, it wasn't as stable and sure-footed as my full suspension with the short offset fork. In addition, I was under the impression that a hardtail would really let that short offset shine more uh, just due to uh, having that uh, no suspension in the rear. So I wanted to see if that uh, really, really did help the performance of my hardtail. Uh, we're about to find out how it goes on the trip. One of the things I'm curious about is when you're climbing something technical like this rock garden in front of us, does the shorter offset keep your handlebars straighter while you're climbing because it doesn't want to turn as quickly? We'll find out, but I'm just going to give you a preview slowly of this rock garden. So huge move right here to get up. So if I stick my leg out in front of me, that's a 90 degree or a, that's about a, my legs at a 90 degree angle. So it's probably about a two foot step up about three feet in length. So that's the hard part. Once you're up here on the rocks, you're pretty much okay. I mean, it's solid, you know, it's a well-built rock garden. And you're supposed to make a left-hand turn here, which is definitely one of the failing points, but I go straight just because I have a higher chance of making it. All right, this is trial number one. Can't remember what gear to be in. I'm guessing it's gonna go full granny. But you really gotta make this first move up, up it, up it, and stay. Stay. I like to go straight because less distractions, more cases of making it. So that was the first try and made it. Now, I normally make that, but I would say that the handlebars were more steady than they have been in the past on that. I wasn't all over the place. I was able to focus. I was able to point and shoot. I'll give you a little disclaimer. Some people, depending on their sensitivity to changes on their bike, may not feel this at all. So 
if you can't feel the difference between different tires or different handlebars different stem lengths things like that you know you're not you're not necessarily needing to watch this video it's not a major game changing thing unless you can feel those things which i can i'm very particular I've been riding bikes since i was three years old and so got a little bit of experience just regular climbing like this is probably the least i can feel it i mean this fork turns the other fork turn you know it's not a huge difference at slow speeds well preview of the cornering it's our first quick descent oh i love it this is the corners these are the corners that will showcase how this bike performs with this fork oh yeah oh my gosh just leaning that bike over just feels great awesome you know i'll tell you what regardless of what your fork offset is definitely have good tires i mean your cornering knobs and these corners is going to make a much bigger difference than your fork offset but when you get the feel of the tires and you still want more traction fork complements it bonus review time we're talking about a fork in this review but the bonus review are these one-up handlebars they do feel more compliant than my old carbon bars if you're 20 years old compliance isn't that big of a deal if you're in your 40s going in your 50s that compliance is a huge deal these one-up bars come in two rises 20 and 35 i appreciated that higher rise for this bike kind of gives it that bmx look and you can run less spacers under your stem but i'm impressed Again, it's not a major noticeable difference. But if your hands are getting tired, your wrists are getting beat up, check out these one-up bars. So this is the important part. This is what everybody came to, see, to hear about, how it descends. Probably a bigger difference than how it climbs. Pretty flowy descent here. Should be a good test. Woo! Get that seat down. Oh, pushing those corners pretty hard. Oh boy. Yeah. Hit that perfect. Last time I almost crashed. Yeah. Really have to uh, focus on leaning that bike over to really enjoy it. Get some good corners in here, up here. Test it out. Oh man, totally off camber and totally blown out. Wow. Need to build that up important to keep your eyes down the trail in these types of situations should be a fun fast one gotta love the sound of the responsive dropper post in shimano xtr shifting number two on this monster rock garden there's not really a defined line you're just gonna need to plow through some stuff There we go. All right, made it. Oof. Yes, it is. Gotta lay off the brakes in those sketchy ass corners. It's crazy how fast trails you love riding end so sh end so quickly. I want these descents to last forever. Here we are at the bottom of the descent, and. My overall impression for this bike and my riding style is that this is just more intuitive, more natural feeling. I'm not thinking as hard. I'm not trying as hard to hold the corners with traction. Overall on this bike, it's a better fit in my opinion, hands down. I was uh, at the jumps yesterday and 
I was talking to a guy about how I just don't like the feel of a BMX bike anymore because of how quick the steering is. So if you like quick steering, the shorter offset is going to slow it down and you may not like it. I like it a hell of a lot better. I had a fantastic descent. It made this bike come alive more than I've ever felt it. I think it was designed around this offset and I didn't even realize it. I definitely would not go back to the 51mm offset on this bike. So, unfortunately, there's no fork demos, so you can't really try this. It's really just going to be you analyzing the characteristics of your bike and whether or not it's a good fit for you.